Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to solve this moment of inertia problem. This is uh, engineering mechanics problem. Determine the moment of inertia of shaded area about x and y axis. You see this drawing. X axis is given in the center of the drawing and y axis is also given in the center of the drawing. What we need to find? This shaded area we need to find. How we will find this one? First, we will take this is as a rectangle. Second, we will take this is as a semicircle and third, we will take it as this is also semicircle. First, we will take this is as a first one, this is second one, this is third one. You see this drawing rectangle. What is area of rectangle formula? Area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. This is breadth. This one is length. How you will take length and breadth value? You see this drawing. Breadth is given as 40 plus 40. This whole is 80. So this value is 80. What is length value? Length you see 55 plus 55 110. So this value is 110. So what is length is 110 into breadth is 80. So how much comes? 8800 mm square A. You see here dimensions in millimeter. Millimeter is mm. After that we will find x1 and y1. So how we will find x1 and y1? You see this drawing center is the x and y. So what is this value? The center value this is 0 comma 0. What is center of gravity of rectangle? This C. So 0 comma 0 this also. So what is x and y value here? x is also 0, y is also 0 in this case. What is moment of inertia of rectangle formula? I x1. B h cube by 12. What is B? B is this one 80. H is height. L or H is same. So B is 80. L or H is same. So what comes? B is 80. H is 110 Q divided by 12. What is the answer? 8, 8, 7, double 3, double 3, point 3, 3. Mm power 4 I X1. Now we will calculate I Y1. What is I Y1 formula? H B cube by 12. We know H value. H value is 110. B value is 80. 110 into 80 Q divided by 12. I y1 is equal to 4, 6, 9, 3, 3, 3.33 mm power 4. Now we will calculate parallel axis theorem. What is the parallel axis theorem formula? i x x1 is equal to i x1 plus a1 y1 square. This is a1. So, I x1 is 8, 8, 7, 3, 3, 3, 3.33 3, 3 plus A1. A1 value is 8,800. So, we will write 8,800 into, you see Y1 is 0. So, we will take this is 0 equal to 8, 8, 7, 3, 3, 3, 3 plus 8800 into 0 is 0. So what is the answer? I x x1 is equal to 8873333.33 mm power 4. Now we will calculate I y y1. What is the formula of I y y1? I y1 plus a1 x1 square equal to I y1. What is I y1 value? This is the I y1 value. A1 8800 X1 is 0. So we will substitute this one. 
फोर सिक्स नाइन थ्री 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 पॉइंट थ्री थ्री प्लस ए वन इज एट थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड इंटू एक्स वन इज जीरो वॉट इज द आंसर फोर सिक्स नाइन थ्री 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 पॉइंट थ्री थ्री दिस वन इज जीरो सो वॉट इज द वैल्यू आई वाई वाई वन सिक्वल टू फोर सिक्स नाइन थ्री 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 पॉइंट थ्री थ्री एम एम पावर फोर नाउ वी कैलकुलेटेड मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्शिया ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई नेक्स्ट वी विल कैलकुलेट सेमी सर्कल ऑफ टू एंड थ्री नेक्स्ट वन सेमी सर्कल टू एंड थ्री विच इज टू विच एज थ्री दिस इज टू दिस इज थ्री दिस इज द सेंटर ऑफ द एक्स एंड वाई कॉर्डिनेट हियर ऑल्सो दिस इज सेंटर ऑफ द x and y coordinate how we will find moment of inertia of semi circle first we will calculate area of semi circle what is area of semi circle formula pi r square by 2 this is a2 this is a3 a3 also pi r square by 2 what is r value in this case you see here this is the r r is 30 di is 60 in this case here also you see same or value pi into 30 square divided by 2 here also pi into 30 square divided by 2 what is the answer 1413.71 mm square here also 1413.71 mm square this is a3 this is a2 A two and A three is same value. Why? The radius is same for both cases. The coordinates of x and y center point is here. So this is the center. So how we will calculate x and y value here? We join this. This is the center of gravity. This is C two. This is C three. So how we will find this value? This formula is four R by 3 pi this also 4 r by 3 pi how we will calculate x2 and x3 first we will calculate x2 x2 is equal to you see here this is y upside is plus y downside is minus y the same way here is minus x here is plus x so we will write this is minus x this is plus x here is 0 comma 0 so it goes this side so this side is you see this drawing here is 40 whole is 40 so we will take full is this full is 40 we need up to here this is x to value This is the x2 value. So how we will write this one? We will write 40 minus 4r by 3 pi. You see, this is minus right minus x. So this is comes minus. How we will calculate minus of 40 minus 4 into what is r? R is 30. 30 divided by 3 pi. Equal to minus of forty minus twelve point seven three two. What comes minus twenty seven point two six eight mm. This is x two. We will see x three. X three is equal to. You see, this is comes this side. This side is plus plus x. Plus x means how we will take this one. This whole thing is forty. You see this drawing up to here is forty. We need up to here to here. This is x three. X three is equal to to forty minus four or by three pi. This one is plus. You see, this side is plus. This side is minus. So what comes? Forty minus twelve point 
सेवन थ्री टू इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट टू सिक्स एट एम एम सो दिस इज पॉजिटिव दिस इज नेगेटिव हाउ यू विल फाइंड वाई टू हियर यू सी एक्स इज दिस हाउ यू विल फाइंड वाई वाई इज जीरो यू सी सेंटर ऑफ द कॉर्नेट इज जीरो y2 is 0 what is y3 y3 also 0 next we will find moment of inertia of semi circle what is moment of inertia of semi circle formula i x2 is equal to pi r power 4 divided by 8 or 0.392 r power 4 Equal to pi into r power four. What is r value? R is thirty power four divided by eight. This formula and this formula answer is same only. What is the answer? Three one eight zero eight six point two five mm power four. This is i x two value. Next we will calculate i y two. Value. What is i y two value? Point one one r power four equal to point one one into r power four is thirty power four equal to eighty nine hundred mm power four. This is i y two. I y two or i y three value is same only. Here also. I x3 value also same. Why same? You see, radius is same for both semi circle. I x2 and I x3 value is same, and I y2 and I y3 value is same because the given radius is same for both semi circle. Next, we will calculate parallel axis theorem. What is parallel axis theorem formula? Parallel axis theorem. I x x two is equal to I x two plus a y two square. So a two y two square. I x two. What is I x two value? You see, I x two value is three one eight zero eight six point two five. Three one eight zero eight six point two five. Plus, what is y two value? Y two is one four one three point seven seven. What is y two value? Y two is zero. One four one three point seven seven into zero. So the whole thing is zero. What is the final answer? Three one eighty eighty six point two five mm power four. This is i x x two. I x x two and I x x three also same. Why same? You see here, what is I x two value? I x two and I x three is same. This is Y two is zero. Here also Y three also zero. So I x x two, I x x three value is same. What is I Y Y two formula? I Y Y two is equal to I Y two plus Y two. X two square. I Y two. You see, I Y two and I Y three value is same. Eight nine one double zero plus. What is Y two value? You see, Y two is one four one three point seven seven. One four one three point seven one into X two. What is X two value? You see, X two is Twenty seven point two six eight. Here comes minus. So how we will write minus twenty seven point two six eight the whole square. Here is x two, right? Here is x three. X two is minus. X three is plus. But we will square it. Minus into minus plus one becomes plus into plus plus one becomes. So i y y three. I Y Y two answer is same one one four zero 
255.33 mm power 4. So this is IYY2 and IYY3 value. Now how we will find moment of inertia of shaded area? We calculated rectangle and semicircle. We need only the shaded area portion. So rectangle minus semicircle 2 minus semicircle 3. Now we will calculate moment of inertia of shaded area I x 1. What is I x 1? I x x 1 minus I x x 2 minus I x x 3. What is I x x 1 value? 8 8 7 3 3 3 3 point 3 3. I x x 2 is 3 1 8 0 8 6 point 2 5. I x x 3 is 3 1 8 0 8 6 point 2 5. So what is the final answer? 8, 2, 3, 7, 1, 60.83 mm power 4. This is IX1. IX1 final answer is 8.24 into 10 power 6 mm power 4. This is moment of inertia of shader area in X axis. What is y axis? i y1 is equal to i y y1 minus i y y2 minus i y y3. What is i y y1 value? 4, 6, 9, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, Minus 1140255.33 equal to what is the answer 24128 22.67 mm power 4 i y1 is equal to 2.412 into 10 power 6 mm power 4. Now we calculated moment of inertia of shaded area about x and y axis thanks for watching this video